Greetings, Mafia. On the personal note, I've sold my apartment and got me a new one, smaller and more affordable. I used the rest of the money to get more gold and I pulled it off within less than two months. Unfortunately, in Eastern Europe, dealing with real estates and all the red tapes is quite a pain in the ass, not to mention nerve-wracking, so I needed a little bit of a timeout. Anyway, a lot of things happen, so let's get right into it. As far as US election goes, as I stated in my previous vids, it makes no difference who wins, the system will push its agenda. Trump didn't do any of the things he promised as I predicted four years ago. No wall, no draining of the swamp. Hate to tell you I told you so. On that note, I also told you he's gonna be just fine. He was out of hospital in three days even though he's overweight and elderly, which is supposedly what makes people more vulnerable to COVID-19, well at least according to the system. Three days, Mafia, it takes seven days to get over the common flu. He was done in three of supposedly stronger virus. Not to mention, he didn't lift a fucking finger to help out Julian Assange, despite all of his campaign promises. His wife is an East European bitch, so you know that the divorce is coming, now that he's out of position of power. To his credit though, he didn't start any wars either, maybe that's the reason why he got booted out of the Oval Office. Military industrial complex needs to stay busy, more on that later. Now I gotta admit, Biden victory did make me laugh, for it made both pro-black simps as well as the alt-right white nationalists look stupid. Pro-blacks were saying that their boycott of the elections will bring them closer to the reparations, while alt-righters were saying that their internet campaign will make Trump win by a landslide. Both camps must feel real stupid now, given they got some brain. Another big news, well, at least for normies, is supposed to breakthrough in COVID-19 vaccine. As I told you in my other videos on the subject, by the end of the year, they'll announce the big news. Although we won't really see anything tangible before summer, still, we saw this coming a mile away. All praise is due to Black Pill. Now, let's talk war. Biden is bent on letting more immigrants into the United States, but not only that, he'll definitely print even more money than Trump. It looks like he'll also push another major lockdown somewhere around February. Talks of quote-unquote Great Reset can be heard more often. What it really means is turning to socialism. Mind you, I've been talking about the Great Reset for years before it was even the thing. Again, all praise is due to Black Pill. But we ought to keep in mind that what we consider a reset isn't the same what system does. Historically speaking, every economic reset meant another major war. Problem this time, however, is that besides Iran, there's no one else left to wage a respectable war against. On that note, Trump also promised withdrawal of US troops from Afghanistan. How did that turn out? War with Iran is possible, but let's not forget that it will bring US straight into SCO backyard. Both World War I and World War II were controlled, as I mentioned in my other videos, so the system needs to make sure that the war against Iran not only can be won, but also in foreseeable future. As history taught us, even controlled wars can go wrong. The point of creating Hitler and the Nazi party was to rid of communists in Europe, possibly Russia. However, Hitler got too greedy and the whole thing backfired because communists ended up taking half of Europe. Now, in my video titled COVID-19 Scandemic Exposed, which got removed by YouTube without any explanation whatsoever, I've talked about German doctor Heiko Schoening. Dr. Schoening was basically exposing COVID-19 from a medical standpoint, which got him arrested in Britain. He's been released after a while, but he's now banned from entering the country because the truth is not welcome in UK. 
it's sure nice knowing that post-Brexit Britain is in fact following Google and YouTube guidelines. It's way more likely that the 12 families will go for a domestic civil unrest, for it can be easier controlled. It will also set the stage for the Great Reset. Which brings me to COVID-19's Camdemic. With the progression of time, we'll learn more about its nature and why it was designed in the first place. Not only it provides the politicians with the excuse they need for their failed monetary policies, but it also prohibits any form of social gathering and protests. Of course, once we reach the boiling point, it won't matter, but that's exactly what the system wants. If you live in Europe or the United States, understand this. You are disposable. The Great Reset is nothing more than a great replacement I've been telling you all about. And let's be honest, whites in general were playing along with the system, especially the so-called middle class. They went right along enforcing the status quo. As all of this is happening, rich keep buying gold and so should you. Remember, both Biden and Kamala are nothing more than fucking puppets. They are powerless. Nothing they do is without approval of the 12 families. It was only several months ago when Kamala called Biden a sexual predator, segregationist and a racist. Now she's so far up his ass you can barely see her heels sticking out. What does it all tell you, Mafia? The rich are buying gold in huge quantities because they know what's coming. 2021 is the year when the reckoning starts. Notice that as soon as Biden victory was announced, both George Soros and Bill Gates crawled out of their rocks, saying they're hoping Biden's gonna be the one who understands and is willing to support their efforts. Bill Gates is pushing for vaccine while George Soros is all about open border society. The system needs civil unrest in its own backyard, Western governments must become more authoritarian in order to compete with SEO because, as it stands right now, the SEO is winning. It needs to make sure that the plebs is compliant and willing to go along. If they can convince the majority that this pandemic is for real, as they did by the way, they can convince them of anything. What we need to do is to keep our agenda in place and not get involved in any stage protests or riots. We are fighting the system in our own way, which is the only effective way. During the first lockdown, gold bullions were out of stock and no one saw it coming. We did that. If you can't get gold, get silver. Become your own banker. Stacking gold and silver is the best way to stick it to the system. Don't say a word about it to anyone, make sure it's in a safe place and make sure you can protect it. The less you're depending on the system for your daily bread, the more of a free radical you are. Biden and Kamala will push harder for 12 families and their agenda, and they could start a war with Iran, it's certainly on the table, but it's far easier to start a domestic conflict. These two will squeeze harder on lockdown starting from February 2021. They'll also try to keep the gold price low and dollar index above 90 points until summer. I suspect next August is when the gold will start taking off. Understand this. The system isn't trying to push communism. Communism abolishes both religion and private ownership. Twelve families certainly don't want that because these are the most effective tools. No, they are pushing for more communist type of government control, but not the communism as a whole. Now, I gotta say a few words about feminism. Feminism is now considered a dirty word by the mainstream media. The same media that prompted up is now turning its back on it. Yeah, the system always breaks its tools. So now we see many of these feminists, especially white, running back at the forefront of white nationalism. All of a sudden, patriarchy ain't that bad. And mafia, we all saw it coming. Intersexuality is a thing right now as it is transgender and feminism opposes it. 
So it's either leave feminism and join trans or leave feminism and join nationalists. The problem is, we're all fucking tired of it. If you like this video, make sure you download it because YouTube will take it down sooner or later. And there's also a link to my PayPal's tip jar in the description box. This is Top Dollar, signing off.